Uh, what's going on guys? So, going back to this house, I diagnosed a bad blower motor a couple days ago. We just got the, uh, the motor in. I'm going to put it on. It's a variable speed motor. Um, it wasn't communicating right with the, um, the between the board and the motor. So, um, we're going to replace the board and the motor. It's under warranty. So, just to be safe, we're going to replace both. Um, and we're going to get started and I'm going to let you tag along. So here we are. It's going to be the upstairs unit right here. And if they're ever they're ever under warranty like I was talking about, it's always the safest bet, especially with it being communicating, variable speed, and you have this bottom light right here that's not blinking right at the moment. It um it'll show how many CFMs it's, it's reading and it communicates to that motor how much to ramp. So normally it's, pro it's usually just the motor but with it being under warranty always safe to just to go ahead and do both. So first thing we're gonna do is get this thing uh, this board mount. It's got two screws up here. We're gonna go ahead and take those off try to get this board swung out of the way and then we're gonna pull this blower Trace back our wires and we'll go and cut this zip tie. Got our plug there. Okay. Then we got a plug that goes into this motor. see that second plug the one on the left we're gonna get that one pulled out I'm gonna disconnect these switch the limit now we can get that swung all the way out of the way This blower is going to have a uh, screw on each end here, one there, and then one on the other side. I don't know if I can get my drill in there to grab it or not. Told this thing wasn't ramping up like it was supposed to. This coal's been freezing. Got water in the bottom of this pan as well. There we go. Now you should be able just to pull this thing straight out. Loosen this nut right here. So we got that loosened up. Out, so we won't have to have no fan puller. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the new mold the new motor and 
get me a socket that fits uh, fits these to put on my drill and get this motor taken off and the new one on. Got my 3 8 attachment for my drill. <clears throat> Take all four of these off. And that's actually the same size as the bolts holding the blower in that I took out a minute ago, 3 8 don't want to do. Dropped it down here. Now. Grab the last one if I get it out. So to put the new motor on, we're going to get it out of the box. Got to take this belly band off and get it put on the new one. Module looks a little bit different on it, but half horsepower, half horsepower. All right, get this belly band off and get it switched, uh, put on the new one. All right, so we got the belly band on there. And another thing you want to remember on these, any type of either the direct drive or the variable speed, you want to make sure this plug isn't covered by any legs because you got to uh, make sure to have that available to put your wires on. And you also want to look at how this thing goes back in. This is going to be the front, so you want to make sure you got your plug facing this way. All right. You want to make sure your flat edge is lined back up. You can see where your locking nut is. Alright, we're going to make sure this is at the front, so we want to turn that just like that right there. We'll go ahead and bolt it in, and then we'll get that uh, tightened on the other side for the blower wheel. Got them all tightened up. Got that where it needs to be. Alright, we're going to get this lifted up just a hair and get this uh, screwed in, the set pin, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, I'm going to get it screwed on tight, and then we can push it in. All right, we got that tied on there. You always want to look and make sure that it's pretty even and it's not touching either side. That's what we like. And on every blower, you're going to have these lips. Right there. The blower's got to slide up under or over those for it to stay in place. All right, while we got our, we got our motor pushed in there, um, we're going to go ahead and change this board over while we got it right here, make it a little easier. Uh, we got our new board sitting right there. And I don't have no type of harness or mount to hold this thing, so I can't film the whole thing. But, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. All these plugs only fit one place. Um, you will have a few up here that's going to be, um, the, that's your high voltage stuff in neutral over here. But what you normally want to do is just remove this board. Um, you got these places here you pull in with some needle nose, and that'll get it free. Put your new board in and just do one wire at a time. Don't try to take them all off, it's going to be confusing, so we'll just take uh, one at a time, swap it out, and I'll start it back once I get it done. Alright, so you got the new board put on, and you want to put your sent the wires back over here. And getting ahead of myself, still got to put the um, screws back in for the blower. All right, so got that bolted in. 
to the top. Everything's secure. Let's go ahead and get our wire plugged in. We've got two wires for this limit right here. We also have this other plug that goes to the blower. Let's get this mounted. Alright guys, got our screws back in. Uh, board's done. We just got to get this, this plug in back here and we'll go ready to kick this thing on. Alright, got both plugs in back there. Can't see it really. There we go, got both of those in. Our whole board's finished. Got it back mounted. Let's go turn the thermostat on and see how it works. Lift off. There it goes, ramping up like it wouldn't do before. All right, let's get this door on it. We're uh, calling it a day. All right, guys. So that was fun, huh? All right, we got that done. I'm ready to get out of this attic. So hope y'all enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time.